So in this video, I'm going to show you how to safely and quickly ship a baseball bat without a box. Okay, so I start by laying out my baseball bat flat and I use bubble wrap. I go long ways with the bubble wrap, not round and around. So it's basically one long sheet, fold it over and then tape it side to side to shorten it up and you're good to go with the bubble wrap. Remember, it's a baseball bat, so it's not gonna get damaged. Now, the whole point of this video is how to do this without a box. And what I use are bubble mailers. These are 13 by 11 eBay bubble mailers. And let me show you how to use them to ship your bat. So just start by putting your bat into one of the larger envelopes. You will need either three of these large nine by 13 or two of them, and then a smaller six by nine. So first one goes all the way in. Don't cut anything. Then take your second envelope and cut the very end off so it's open on both ends. Then you just slide it down the bat because it's open on both ends and tuck it maybe about an inch or two into the other envelope. Once you tuck it in on the one side, you can use the peel and stick to secure that side, then flip it over and tape the other side. So on this side, the peel and stick is bonding the two envelopes together. And on the other side, I just put a strip of tape across Bonding that side. Now we have to close the end up. Now on the end, I'm using the smaller six by nine. Same process, go over the end all the way till it touches so there's no more gap, which will give it a little overlap. And then you can seal that side and tape the other side. All right, and again, this side is sealed with the self stick, fully contained. The other side is sealed by tape. Now it is kind of wide, and I don't want to ship it like that. So now I'm going to fold it over and tape it long ways to thin up the package. So I just push the bat to the one side of the envelope and then kind of crease it. And then you're going to fold this side up and tape it. So you're almost going to have half the width. Now here's what I'm doing before I fully tape it. You can see instead of leaving the whole width of the envelope where the bat's going to slide around, fold it over, tape it. It makes it more self-contained and it's just a smaller package. And then here's my final package, folded over and taped, nice and narrow. And here's the final package. You don't need a box to ship a baseball bat. I've done this many, many times. It's how I always do it. It's a baseball bat. It's not going to get damaged. I've never had damage and I've never had a complaint. So if you don't have a box, follow this process to ship your baseball bat. Thanks for watching.